In this video, I'm going to look at laser engraving uh, images from the internet um, on acrylic and uh, different techniques we can use to try and improve the quality of those engravings. So to do this, I'm going to work with this lovely picture of my dog Milu looking very dapper with his little blue dicky bow on there. I've done a bit of a hash here of cutting out the background. It was actually sitting in front of our red sofa. Um, but uh, we're going to see how it turns out when we laser engrave this. Uh, and I'll try a variety of techniques and see which one comes out the best. So let's have a look how we're going to approach this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a laser engraving just of the original photo here. So here we go. Let's just save this uh, as, um, oh, there he is. That's the original picture. Look, let's just save this as uh, Milu uh, original. Okay, version one. And I'm going to save this here as a bitmap because uh, 2D Design, which is the software we're using to control the laser cutter, loves bitmaps. Okay, there we are. So let's have a look. Next, I think I'm going to go to Adjustments and I'm going to try and invert the colors um, and see if what kind of effect that has. Um, so when we laser engrave, the darker the color, the more intense the beam's going to be. So let's see how this one comes out. So File, again, oh, for goodness sake. Uh, save as, okay, I'm going to call this invert. Okay, confirm the, the defaults. Okay, I'm going to undo that back to the original cutout. Let's now go to effects, and I'm going to try a pencil sketch. And with this pencil sketch, I'm going to turn everything up to maximum. Let's see how that comes out. File, save as. Pencil sketch. Okay. And now I'm going to undo that pencil sketch. I'm going to apply the invert colors and I'm going to apply the pencil sketch. Again, maximum settings on everything. File, save as, and I'm going to have that as invert pencil sketch. Okay. I'm going to send those. Oh, let's bring them into 2D Design first, shall we? So, 2D Design. I'm going to bring it across here. Okay, yet again, as usual, let's just configure the grid settings here. So it's a pale blue 5 mil grid. Okay, bitmaps. I'm going to import. So, what have I got here? Okay, I had to do a little bit of fixing there. So let's go first of all with the original. Uh, okay, I'm going to set these. What size am I going to do? Let's make it 100 millimeters in width. Okay, so we're going to pop that uh, to the top left like that. Okay, bitmap import. Let's go with the invert. Okay, that meter is going to go there. I think I might have a little separation between them here. Let's bring in the pencil sketch and finally let's come in with the invert pencil sketch. Okay, I'm actually going to place it down like that instead Okay, so I'm going to go to the laser cutter and see what happens. So I've finished laser cutting uh, Milu the dog here, um, and I've actually put it onto uh, four separate materials. So what we have here is just some uh, 450 gram card. Um, maybe the beam strength wasn't quite enough here, but you can see it hasn't really worked particularly well. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointing, but I have to say I am very, very uh, impressed by the acrylic. I've got to be careful here because I've got the fluorescent light reflecting on the acrylic sheet there, but uh, you can see that the 
inverted image of Milu and then the um, the sketch, the, the, the uh, pencil sketch tool looks absolutely fantastic there of all the four. So I'm really pleased with that. Now what I'm finding is that because Milu is uh, a white dog, by doing the inverse and then doing the pencil sketch, it actually works really, really well. If Milu had instead been uh, a dog with dark fur, then I think just the pencil sketch without the inverse would have been enough. But you can see that the the white fur of Milu didn't come out sufficiently well in the pencil sketch. Um, it, we had to do the invert in order to be able to create all the wonderful detail here. So that looks absolutely fast, uh, fantastic there. I've tried another two bits of material here. So I'm just going to move the card out of the way there so you can still see the acrylic as a comparison. Uh, this is on MDF with a birch veneer. Um, and in this particular case, it's interesting how we actually have two different veneers here. There's a little gap divide here between one lighter veneer and a darker veneer. Um, and the original graphic here has come out rather well. This is without any modification whatsoever. Um, the, the other one that's quite interesting here again is this. I'm sure I've given that a bit of a wipe there, shouldn't I really? This is the inverse and then the, uh, the pencil sketch. Um, again, because Milu is a, a, a white dog, we had to do the inverse to get the details coming out. Had Milu been a dark fur dog, um, I think we could have just gone with the pencil sketch direct, which would have been this one here. But here again, the details not showing sufficiently well. Um, and then finally, here's a darker wood. This is walnut. And again, look, I've not given this one a clean in advance. But a similar kind of situation. In fact, if anything, I think here, for me, the inverse of the colors, so we, we really um, get the the depth of the engraving coming out here, um, and also the pencil sketch is really bringing out some of the texture detail. But at the end of the day, I have to say, it is the acrylic here in my book that wins. So uh, that's the end of this experiment. I hope you find that uh, interesting, and hope to see you again soon.